Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and if you want to learn about my home care business and how I got started, please keep on watching. I want to say thank you to those who left a comment in my last video, the Esthetician Facial Room Tour home business because you guys gave me another reason to make a new video. So I will do my best to answer all the questions that you guys left behind and let's get started. What did I do before I started my home business? So before I quit my job and work from home, I worked a nine to five job and I also had a side hustle which, which was my mobile facials. So I would take clients in the evenings and on the weekends and that was my way to get exposure and also get my name out the door because I was you know, just a single esthetician by myself. I didn't wanna quit my full-time job because sometimes you're not busy all the time. So having that full-time job with the mobile business uh, was a great way for me to make more money and also save money to eventually purchase my equipment, my linen supplies, and also the products that you would need to start up the business. Some of you guys also asked, um, where did I purchase my steamer lamp and hot towel cabinet from? So I purchased those two items from um, Kingdom Beauty, which is a Canadian professional spa salon supplier uh, because it's based in Canada. I don't know if they ship to the US, but I'm sure in the US you guys will have your own type of supplier. Um, but as long as you have your business license, certificate or diploma, you should be able to make wholesale purchases for those two equipment. And they are definitely great investments. How do you build clientele for your home business? So when I was first starting out my business by doing mobile facials, I had a Instagram page, but no content. So the first thing I did was to offer free facials for my friends and family. So one, they get free treatment, and two, in return, you get pictures and videos. Whenever you do have that opportunity, take a lot of photos and videos as much as you can so that you can post all of that content on your social media outlet. Another way how you can build more clientele is to collaborate with local artists or other professionals in your area like um, RMTs, lash artists, brow artists, lip artists, nail artists, and swapping services with them. So that the next time they're with their customers, the topic of having facials can come up and they can bring up your business and share your social media account. And bam, there's a potential customer. When you are building your business and building clientele, it's really important to utilize Facebook and Instagram to its full potential because that's free marketing for you. So making sure you do consistent postings of videos or quotes or whatever you like, um, just make sure that you're in people's news feeds. One thing that I learned is that it's okay to use recycled content because the person who saw the post um, who saw the post from this week might have missed last week. So that's something that you can also do. Another great way to keep your clientele is to do follow-up messages with them. So if you did a facial peel or a treatment, I like to text or email my clients a couple days later just to follow up and see how their skin is, if they ex enjoyed their experience, or if you had if you left off at a conversation about you know purchasing products, you can follow up with them to see if they did purchase it, um, and find out um you know find out what other help they may need, or just checking in with them to see if they're you know keeping up with their skincare routine at home. So follow up is very important because it shows you care, um, and make sure you do care. It has to be genuine because people can tell. <laughs> what are the benefits of going solo at home? So of course, going solo is one, I'm always at home, and two, I love spending time with my friends and family, especially my nieces and nephews. I love kids. So there was a lot of flexibility with time off because you are your own boss and you have your own hours. And because working from home, I do take clients random times of the day, which is totally fine, uh, because you're at home. You gotta save a lot of money on gas, um, save time from taking transit or driving as well. So I love that because my previous job, I had to travel to another city, which is an extra two hours in a day just to get to and from work. If you are starting a home business and you are looking for a skincare line to use in your services, I recommend doing research and see what kind of skincare lines are available for you to purchase for professional use. 
attend trade shows or events so that you can meet with the representative from the company. Um, once you get in contact with them, I recommend asking for samples, see if they can send you some information about their company uh, or if there is like a minimum purchase for their um, products for professional use. Uh, get as much information as you can before you make an investment for this business because the worst thing you can do is invest in a line that you don't like but you already bought it and be stuck to using it. So it's really nice to try out the products on yourself because ultimately you're the one that's making the decision and if you like the products, you are more inclined to sell or recommend these products for the clients that um, the next time they come and see you. Another tip I like to give to new estheticians who are starting up a home business is to be patient and consistent with your postings. So. Posting on Instagram is something I do struggle with still till this day. Um, it's because I care so much of my page content and because everybody loves aesthetically pleasing pages. But I learned that that's not the case. As long as you have content, videos, and postings, people are always going to see it. And it's okay to use recycled um, posts that you've used before. And being patient is also very important because let's say you had a business for about six months now and it's still not busy. Don't give up, keep on going, take that free time to come with a business plan, take that free time to come up with a marketing plan, um, come up with promotions if needed, do what you can to bring people into the door. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. If you have any more questions about starting a home business, please leave a comment below. And if I do gather enough questions, maybe I'll do a part two. But other than that, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for your time. Make sure to like, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. Bye.